and get the leaner to go. Ball is tipped to Landers. Toppin got some separation. Boom! Oh my goodness! He's left handed. What's up, Pinky Gang? It's your boy, Zach, back with another video, and in today's video, we have a very, very long-awaited series. We're returning into the channel. The College Basketball Player Series is returning, and we're starting it off with the official first college player build that I did last year, Obi Toppin, because they are not in the game yet, and if you want to make a build that plays like Obi Toppin, I will show you guys how to make it, the animations, the jump shot, the drill moves, everything you need to know, similar play style, similar game, just like last year. We're going to do it again this year. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers before December, and if I get that, it'll mean a ton to me. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So if you guys do not know who Obi Toppin is, you guys must be living under a rock. This dude is one of the most hyped up college basketball players in the draft. He's a six foot nine, 220 pound, sweet shooting, contact dunking, ball handling, big man freak, who is a highlight machine. He's doing some crazy dunks every single game. He's doing the 360s, windmills, between the legs, 360 East Bay's, you name it, he's done it, and he can shoot. And he can play make this dude is a do-it-all player and you definitely want to recreate this type of build in nba 2k21 so that's why i decided to start off with obi toppin and also i am from dayton he goes to dayton dayton in my opinion was going to win the march madness bracket but you know this whole virus thing had to go over and destroy all of sports but now they're back but march madness is gone and it's been a long time since that if you guys want to fulfill your march madness dreams that have been crushed you can make this build and i'm sure you guys will like it Build number one is the shooting and slashing pie chart, but this pie chart is a little bit more slashing than shooting, so don't mess that one up. It is six foot eight, 193 pounds. It's a better shooter than build number two. It's faster, it's more well balanced. It's an overall great build. For build number two, this build is six foot nine, 211 pounds. It is a better defender, it is taller, and has Hall of Fame playmaking. This build is a little bit better, in my opinion, if you don't want to shoot, but shooting is very important in this game, and to be able to shoot helps your teammates tremendously. You can space the floor spacing is everything in this game so it's really up to you i'm going to show build number one first and build number two second if you want to just go straight to build number two skip to this time on the screen and if you want to go to build number one that'll be coming up in just a couple seconds all right we've got build number one here obviously obi Toppin is a power forward he's right-handed and his jersey number is number one now for your skill breakdown you want to go down to this one here remember don't pick this one if you do you don't get contact dunks and it's a little bit worse of a build so we're going to pick this one here for the physical profile, what we want to do is to pick the one with the most speed. If you want, you can go balance with the one with speed and berg, um, but I personally prefer the one with the most speed. Now for our attributes here, what we're going to do is we're going to max out our close shot, our driving layup, our driving dunk, and we're going to get our standing dunk maxed out as well. For our shooting, we're going to max out our mid-range, our three-point, and our free throw. So we have 17 finishing and 13 shooting. For our playmaking, we're going to max out our pass accuracy and our ball handle. Now for our defense, we're going to max our interior defense, our perimeter defense. We're going to go back to our lateral quickness because we'll put our remaining attributes on that. We're going to max out our block, offensive rebound, and defensive rebound. And as you can see, we can put two on lateral quickness if you want. Put these in any two other categories, you don't really get a badge. But like I said earlier, you will put it on your lateral quickness if you prefer. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to just put it on lateral quickness because you're trying to be quick, you know? For our body shape, I want to pick um, probably defined. OB is definitely defined player. This build, we do go six foot eight on this one. The other one's six foot nine, but we have to go six foot eight on this build. As you can see, our attributes go up a ton. The only thing that we really lose is our rebounding, and that's not too big of a deal because you're gonna have max arms. For our weight, we're gonna go 194 pounds. The reason we do this is if we go a little bit over, we're not gonna get 84 driving dunks, so you can't get any contact dunks when you start off the build. So that's the reason we go there. As you can see, if we go 195, get an 83 driving dunk, but at 194, you do get an 84 driving dunk and a 94 standing dunk, which is insane. Obviously, we're gonna max with our wingspan here. A 69 three-pointer is not terrible. As soon as you get your badge, you're going to be hitting like crazy. Once you hit 98, your ball control goes to a 70. You don't get any new animations, but you do get the ability to go between the legs behind the back, and you're a little bit more explosive once you get 70 ball control, even though you don't unlock new animations. For our takeover, now this is interesting. If you want, you can go spot-up shooter, but obviously I think Slasher is the best takeover in the game. Playmaker literally does nothing, so there's no reason to pick that. So we're going to go with Slasher takeover. As you can see, we have built an interior finisher similar to John Collins, Blake Griffin, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Jaron Jackson Jr. kind of similar to Obi, but I think John Collins and Blake Griffin are great comparisons to Obi. And let's get on to build number two. All right, for build number two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously make him a power forward, the same handedness and the same jersey number. The pie chart that we're gonna pick is the playmaking and finishing, the one we were talking about in our breakdown. We're gonna go with the same all speed physical pie chart. So what you wanna do with your attributes, you wanna max out your close shot and take two off of it. You're gonna max out your driving layup, your driving dunk, and your standing dunk. 
We're going to max out our mid range, our three point, and our free throw is going to a 73. That gets us right at five shooting badges. Our pass accuracy, we're going to get that to a 73. And then we're going to max out our ball control. Um, for our interior defense, we're going to max that out. Our perimeter defense is maxed out. And then we're going to max out our block, offensive, and defensive rebounding. As you can see, we have 18 finishing, 5 shooting, 13 playmaking, and 10 defensive rebound. That's a total of 46 badges, which is two more than the other one. The other one is 44. I didn't really say that, but this does have two more badges. But you're going to struggle to shoot a little bit more on this build. It is a little bit more balanced aside the fact of shooting. Um, the shooting is a little bit worse on here. I don't really know if it's going to be good. If you want, you can just take this stuff off and put it somewhere else. But I feel like 5 shooting um, is, is good enough to shoot. Once we get later in the year, 5 shooting is going to be knocked down, I'm pretty sure. It always takes a little bit of time for people to figure out how to shoot in these games, but I'm sure by the end of the year, you're going to be shooting lights out with 5 shooting badges and no quick draws of badge. You're going to be fine. For our body shape, we're going to go the same. We're defined. This height is actually 6 foot 9. If you want, you can go 6 foot 8. I don't I mean, you could do this, but I prefer to be 6 9, true to Ovi Tappan's height. We're going to go 211 pounds. The reason we do this is the same thing with build number one. This is the highest you can go with still getting an 85 driving dunk. You see at 812, you get an 84, and you want an 85 driving dunk to get those contact dunks right off rip. All the contact dunks, which is insane to me. And you do have a 95 standing up, which is great. So as you guys probably know, we're gonna go max wingspan here. We don't lose too much. We only lose a little tiny bit of shooting and one ball control. There's no reason to not max out your wingspan on your builds mostly this year, unless you're getting like right at speed boosting or something. Now for our takeover, we have a couple more options than we did on this one. If you want, you can pick either of these, but this one's useless. I don't know about rim protector and glass cleaner. These might be okay, but I obviously wanna go with slasher because that's just the way Ovi Toppin plays. As you can see, we have built an interior finisher similar to John Collins and Blake Griffin. The same comparisons for the last player who played just like Ovi and Dennis Rodman. I don't really think he plays like Obi Toppin, but oh well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, you know, do that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff if you want. I can't really control you, but if you want, you can go ahead and do that. Most of you guys only watch like three minutes of my videos, get the build and get out of here. For those who made it to the end, um, that's pretty dope. We do this type of content on the regular. I haven't posted in about a week, trying to find out these great builds to post for you guys, and I have been grinding out the game. I'm sorry for the inconsistencies lately. I said I was gonna grind it out, but I've been grinding the game, not YouTube, and I need to get on that. So expect more build videos coming soon. The college basketball series is back. Hopefully when the rookies get added, I could maybe update this video, maybe update more rookies, um, just because I can see their actual animations, their actual attributes in the game, and I can get more of an idea of what 2k thinks they should be and how they play so if you guys are interested in the build that i made for nb2k21 um the build video that i dropped my power forward one that was kind of a flop because i didn't realize at the time that you needed 85 ball control to get tier 2 dribble moves that kind of messed me up so i made a secondary ball handler that build was not as good as i thought it would be i'm gonna wait to grind it out once i get a little bit more comfortable with shooting in the game i ended up making a playmaking shot creator but i made it with a different pie chart than most people make it yes it is a very common name but it's a different pie chart so it is still kind of rare in my opinion um he's only a 75 because i was running boot camp with him trying to get his badges and stuff i have almost all my badges once i get most of my badges all the way max i will post a video on it it's really unique and it's really hard to stop in the park he's literally like a pure sharp speed boosting so if you guys Guys want that make sure to drop a comment telling me to drop it if this video gets 50 likes i will drop that video as soon as humanly possible your boy's gonna be grinding out to get that video ready if you guys hit 50 likes um so youtube has this thing where the videos have to end and i'm gonna end it here so i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>